What's going on guys? Welcome back to another video. So in today's video, uh, I'm going to be showing you guys a really awesome original trick um, that we call Blown Away. So um, to start off this trick, I just want you to take note here of the two jokers. And we're going to do something kind of funky here. Both the jokers here are actually going to go into the card box, okay? Straight into the card box. Now here, I'll actually show you here. We'll take out both jokers, right? I'll show you um, the both jokers again, right here, right? So, um, there's actually nothing in the box right now. The box is completely empty, nothing in the box, alright? We're just going to slide it in just like so, and the cards just stay inside right there, okay? So look, now J-Dog, I'd like you to name one card. Um, Seven of Clubs. So he has named the Seven of Clubs. Now, he could have named any card in the pack, okay? But look, I want you to actually see here. Um, we'll go and give the get the deck two cuts just like so. And J-Dog, yes. uh, here's what I would like you to do. Could you please search for the Seven of Clubs in this deck? Oh, I can't do that. He can do that. Okay, so, let's go, guys. Um. He's going real fast. Seven, seven, seven. By the way, guys, I am not an accomplice of this trick, so I'm not doing anything sneaky. I promise. I'm the um, person who's watching. Yep. He's the spectator. That's the word. Okay, it's not in here. Wait. J Dog, this is your new tycoons. Are you missing cards? Um, I hope not. Um. My hands are empty. Okay, um. So, he's missing the Seven of Clubs. Well, I'll show you, there's actually something kind of funny here with the Jokers. If we snap our fingers, wave our hand over the pack, you'll actually see, I think, if I'm not mistaken, I think the Jokers have actually, I think they sandwiched a card. Now, they've sandwiched one card here. Wouldn't that be amazing if it was the Seven of Clubs? Let's see here. We'll pull it out, and you'll actually see it was the Seven of Clubs. Thank you guys so much for watching, and now J-Dog will show you how this trick is done. Okay guys, as you probably saw, that trick is absolutely amazing. At least we both think so. Please tell us in the comments what you thought. But um, It is, don't worry. It is an advanced trick that we came up with, so um, for you beginners, it will be fairly difficult to learn, but uh, you can still try it out. Feel free to do that. So what you want to do, the deck can be freely shuffled uh, by a spectator or whatever it's completely mixed up and um, what you want to do is just show the jokers right here I have one two jokers you have that before the trick and the box is empty and by the way I did not help with the trick I was just a spectator I promise what you want to do you're going if you guys have seen our sandwich card routine um, you're gonna take these jokers and do that thing so you'll have a pinky brink under the top card you're just going to either do a pushover or a pinky count or a thumb pull off, whatever you want to do. Um, but take these jokers and basically slide it out above the pinky break so that you have the joker with the card on the bottom. Now this card is random and then you have the other joker. Uh, Luke did some slight very coolly to show that it was, oh that look it's just one card right here pulls it off the bottom it's just one card but in fact he actually had the card face down in the middle of the two real magic <laughs> so again what you want to do take those jokers show that they're empty and then put them on top do it like that as you slide it out so you have the pinky break and you're gonna slide it right there like so um, and then sandwich it now you can put it in the box showing the spectator it's empty we could also put it here but cards tend to slide so unless you have like a thick rug or something it will be easier to just place them in a box that you'll show is empty so you place those in they have this card that's random sandwiched inside and then you have the spectator name any card they like now this is where we use a move called the coal um, we have a tutorial for it in our Basics of Card Magic video. It is more advanced, so go ahead and check out that video. But a brief description of the coal is, let's say they name a random card, maybe, um, what video, what what um, card did we name in the... Uh, seven of Clubs. Seven of Clubs. So um, let's say we did the Seven of Clubs again. It's right here. 
you're going to go into the pack not showing the spectator the cards and then when you come to the seven you're going to slide it out as you bring it down so you have the seven right here you go down slide it out and then continue spreading all the cards and the seven is basically just on top spreading until it gets to the top so again let's say the seven was buried right here you would spread through the cards until you came to the uh, seven right here then you would bring the deck down spread through the rest of the cards whereas the sevens now just going like that um, you want to spread the seven out until it locks or basically for a better use of words unlocks th through the cards so until it passes the three of spades and the four of spades and then you just bring it in and now the sevens on top then what he did again this is a complicated trick he uh, he could have used a double undercut or a shuffle or whatever he wanted, but he got it to the bottom of the pack using a variety of ways. Um, he could have used a control, but he got it to the bottom. And um, I would recommend either using the overhand shuffle, so you could have it on top and then one shuffling the rest on, or you can do a double undercut the top card, get a thumb break, and then go like that, and now it's on bottom. Next, he used a very difficult move known as Gambler's Cop. Now, he is better at this than me, but I can still do it. <laughs> um, but basically, what you want to do, uh, we will have a video coming out for this soon, but you have your hands in a certain grip, thumb break on the Seven of Clubs, and you pull it off like so, and then they can't see the card right here. Sorry if I flashed in the tutorial and the performance. I don't think you did. Um, thumbs up if you did a good job. Yes. <laughs> but uh, you have it hidden right here and they can't see it and your hand looks fairly natural for the most part. And you can say, okay, I want you to go ahead and uh, look through the deck. Now you have it copped off this whole time in your hand right here. Uh, be careful not to flash it and I would recommend you guys work on angles on that. But um, it is a very difficult move so we will be coming out with a tutorial for that soon or we might already have one by this time, so be sure to look around for that because it's a great move. Um, then the spectator can look through the deck noticing that his card is not in it, and then as you bring the deck back, you're going to restore the seven onto the bottom. So by doing that, again, that's a very angly thing, but you have the seven right here in your hand, and then you bring it in, just like so. Very difficult move though, so I would really recommend you guys watch that video. Um, then, again, he used a variety of methods. He could have cut it to the top right here, or um, he could have shuffled it to the top by using the overhand shuffle, or he could have just used really anything, because there's a lot of ways to do it, but he got the card to the top. Then he showed, okay, look, we have the jokers in this box, pulls them out, doesn't show that there are any cards in between them yet, so keep that hidden, and then says, after, oh by the way, you catch a pinky break on this card, the 7, which is right here. So you have that pinky break, and then you say, um, now look, the uh, Jokers have sandwiched one card. And um, then what you're going to do is you're going to take that Joker. This is a very difficult move, um, I can't remember the name for it, but we'll probably be teaching this as well. And you're going to put the first one out put the second one, whoa, sorry, let me start over guys. You're going to lift up, you're going to have the three jokers, the pinky break, lift up the whole packet, okay? Lift up the whole packet with the seven on the bottom and the cards like this, above the pinky break. Out jog the joker, put this card here and now you have the joker and the card underneath and just drop that right there. Pull the joker back, push the seven forward leaving the other card that's right here because there's two push that forward and then bring this all the way forward and then pull it off. Very complicated. We will come out. What's it called, Luke? Uh, I'm actually not really sure, but I'm pretty sure it was created by Alfie G. Wattman and he originally used it in his trick sandwich. Okay, um, but we will come out with a tutorial for it soon, so don't worry about that, or we might already have one. Um, but <clears throat> then you have the card right here and you can say, look, the seven was in between the jokers the whole time. It's a really cool trick, guys. You should definitely learn it, and uh, we will have those videos coming for you soon, so don't worry about that. Thanks so much, guys. Please like the video, comment below, and be sure to subscribe.